Next question is from Mo Strength Gains. How much of a difference do maces and Indian clubs make for joint stability? Oh, this is a lot. It yeah, makes a big difference. Impact. It does. And you know, and I never use these ever until meeting Justin. And then I started messing with and, I, and it, truth be told, I don't use them all the time, but I have used them, you know, for weeks, uh, you know, week stints or three week stints. And my best guess, and I'd love your input on this, Justin, mm -hmm. my best guess as to why it made my joints feel so good is because there is no resistance, no traditional resistance training movement that that really emulates that circular motion that's required, the momentum that you're controlling while you're moving a weight, which yeah. is very much like- Acceleration, deceleration, yeah. yeah, all of that are components that the muscle is, you know, contracting and accounting for. Uh, and you have to be fluid with it too. So you have, it's, it's almost like you got to know when to tense and turn on the muscle and then also release and, and uh, uh, allow for that free flowing movement, uh, which then to, to control it is, is the other portion of it. So to stabilize, you know, movement is uh, challenging for, for the muscle to account for. So it challenges a lot of what is uh, your programming typically is devoid of. Uh, and it, what's really cool about it is instead of just uh, body weight, we always think of body weight with mobility, mm -hmm. right? And that's something mm -hmm. that it, it's very impactful, it's effective, but then sort of we just move on, right? Uh, and, uh, and it's funny because I accidentally posted uh, like me doing some rotational movement uh, with weight. And, uh, and this was on like Instagram and, and it was like one of those feeds where it just you know, anybody can comment on it. That's not a fan or doesn't follow us or whatever. And I was, I was getting all this grief, like rotational movements are stupid, well, you know? Why? And it's like, I'm like, are you kidding me? Like, obviously, you know, this was some jabroni out there that uh, has never actually taken the time to, to work and develop the skill it requires. And what's cool about it, what I'm getting at is that you can actually progress and, and be able to do more load and you can get stronger uh with these movements um and that's i i went through that whole process and got to a place where i can do that with substantial weight that i could swing around um that uh, beforehand if i picked it up i'd be worried that uh, something was going to break or something was going to give way uh, so I became pretty much of an evangelist for these because I, I just found out that was a strength I didn't know I could develop that also translated really well to stationary, you know, bilateral movements and, um, you know, especially bench press and overhead press. It, it helped substantially. I'll tell you what um, I loved about this. And I, you know, after Justin, because I didn't do it at all until we all met and I went on that kick on my mobility kick for that, you know, two years or whatever it was. And during that time, I also started to to learn how to use the Indian clubs and the mace, the mace bell. And the thing that I loved about it, especially when you're doing it in conjunction with correctional work and like body weight mobility stuff, is once I I, I had worked on like the thoracic and shoulder mobility and got it to a, a healthy place, then all I had to do was just swing the club or the mace around for a little while. So once I got to a place where now I was in in a, a better uh, you know advantageous position for my shoulders and my neck and spine and okay I've I've done all this you now know I just need to turn the muscles on yeah I, I did all this laborious because let's be honest I think the reason why most people don't stick with mobility is it's very laborious you're mm -hmm. sitting down and you're doing these like active stretches all the time for yeah. long and it's just you know I know a lot of people that do it for a while and they just kind of fall off and I was really religious about it for those two years. And then I started to advance it by getting into the clubs and the mace. And what I found was, oh, shit, now that I'm here and my joints ha have good mobility, all I need to do is grab that sucker before I go to my workout. Swing, and it's fun. Mm -hmm. It's a lot more fun swinging a mace club or an Indian club, right? Because there's a flow to it and it's kind of dynamic and you can increase the weight and actually progress it. So it kind of makes me feel like I'm lifting, even though I'm not like totally lifting like traditionally. Feel like biking. Right? Yeah, it yeah. feels cool, right? But it, now, now all I have to, like, I don't have to do the wall circles and the handcuff with rotation so long as I get in there and I do my yeah. mace swings and my Indian clubs. So it, it's more fun. It feels like it's faster to get to that place. I can progress it with the weight now. And it's, uh, so that to me, that was like the most attractive part about it was getting introduced to it. 
uh, while I was learning to uh, to work on my mobility. And now all I have to do is that. It's a lot like how I talk about my 90-90 in combat stretch. I had to do that. And that was extremely laborious. And I it took me a long time to get there. But now that I'm there, all I got to do is do like a deep squat. As long as I'm squatting really deep, I, I keep all those all those joints you know uh, mobile and able to take to that range of motion where I feel like that's the same thing with the mace and the Indian clubs is if you do the work and and you get to a place where you could actually sa safely swing it well then that's all you got to do to well, keep now you've that. established the strength and control yes you know and it, 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 again to to be able to it's just like when we talk about like mind muscle connection first you got to get the connection and that's what the mobility piece really provides but now you got to strengthen that and this is a way to progressively strengthen that and so yeah you can get to a point where you just pick up the club or you know the mace bell and and you can stimulate the muscles and then it contributes to the workout yeah the, the mace works the core like nothing else a heavy mace swinging it behind your back you're you're getting an incredible whore workout but you know it's what's interesting is you know earlier in this uh in this podcast we talked about anecdote right and the value of it when it's been around for a long time indian clubs and mace uh exercises have been around for just as long as as dumbbells and barbells and maybe even longer, especially mace, right? Because you could probably go back and trace right, they, mace they training. They call it Gata, I believe, the, yeah. yeah, back in uh, India. Yeah, and a lot of the wrestlers used it. Um, I mean, you could technically go and trace back mace-style training to like medieval times when they were swinging big swords mm -hmm. and having to practice then. Mm -hmm. And so when you find that people have found tremendous value over long periods of time of with training modalities, now you have what's called training wisdom, right? Now, what's funny is that some really smart marketers saw this old equipment, decided to bring it back, which was brilliant. That's actually a very smart strategy. Go back, find some old training techniques that were valued, bring them forward. Now they look like they're new training techniques, even though they were they were they've been you know tried and true for a long time, and you'll pro pro you know provide a tremendous amount of value, just like Pavel did with the uh, the kettlebells, yep. right? Yep. Tremendous value in Indian clubs and and maces. Incorporate those in your workouts, and they're going to provide to you value that you won't typically get out of traditional resistance training. So that, that's really the value. It's like, okay, why is it so effective? Because I can't think of a traditional resistance training exercise that that is, is even close to doing the same thing. It's that different, right? But it's still resistance training. So that's kind of the beauty of it. Hey, if you enjoyed that clip, you can find the full episode here, or you can find other clips over here. And be sure to subscribe.